Hey guys, welcome to the PCT YouTube channel. It's your friendly neighborhood narrator, and we have a really exciting news today. We're building a brand new homemade tissue culture lab. But first, let me show you our current setup before we take you to the good stuff. So as it stands right now, we have two four by eight grow tents, uh, one for aquatic plants and one for carnivorous plants. Grow tents are always ideal to keep the contaminants out of tissue culture plants. The setup we have now is actually a perfect situation for our plants, um, other than it's in the basement and there's not really an air conditioner, so it gets a little warm sometimes. Our new lab, thankfully, is going to be able to fix the temperature with an AC unit. It's going to be a lot more comfortable and efficient when growing the plants. Not to mention, a lot easier to do experiments and record videos. This grow tent setup is actually perfect for beginners or anyone who's doing tissue culture as a hobby. Long term, not so great, but perfect for a hobbyist. The lab we're building is actually going to be bigger and more sophisticated. Uh, it would be perfect for intermediate to advanced level. If you've watched our channel, you know that this is our transfer room, our very small transfer room. Uh, we've done dozens of experiments and propagated thousands of plants in this setup. When you're in here propagating and you're using the glass bead sterilizer and no AC, it gets really uncomfortable and hot almost immediately. It's even worse with the Bunsen burner on because I turn it on about 15 to 20 minutes before and the temperature gets to 90 to 100 degrees. We're thinking of keeping the grow tents to keep some of the tropical carnivorous plants in during the winter, um, but they're not gonna be actually a part of the tissue culture lab anymore. So some more exciting news, um, we're actually gonna start growing orchids and house plants along with the regular aquatic and carnivorous plants. So keep a lookout for that. Now to the main event, the new lab. Here we go. Ta-da! No, I'm just kidding, but it is gonna be great. So we're starting off with 110 square foot spare room space uh, that we'll be turning into our main lab. We'll be using the closet as a storage room. The most important part is we're gonna have AC and heat. So climate control. The bathroom needs a little TLC. The great thing about renovating is you always can do a two for one deal. So this is gonna be the bathroom, but it's also gonna house our pressure cooker um, and have the great exhaust fan to take care of all the steam. When you walk in, we're gonna put four shelving units on each side of the room and then have the laminar flow hood in front of the window. Yes, we actually have a laminar flow hood. It's a four foot Fisher Scientific horizontal flow hood. We found it for a steal, literally 40 bucks. And that's it for part one. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you at part two.